great to be with you again. Today we're looking at one of the most misunderstood and underused aspects of the MAC Hybrid color range and that is the High Lift 11 Series and 15 Series Blondes. We're going to take a deep dive into these series and hopefully have you falling in love with them and using them like you never have before. Okay, so let's look at the High Lift the 11 series and the 15 series. What you need to know is that these are like a racing car compared to a regular car that you drive every day. So if you think of the Muck Hybrid color range, the rest of the colors in the range like your regular car, think of the High Lifts like a racing car. They are designed to give you that extra turbo that you need and because they are designed to give you lift and deposit and in a counteracting way to overcome underlying warmth while they're lifting. So they're doing two jobs at once in the coloring process. So we're gonna look at their counteracting ability. Um, so if we start on with our 11 series, we have our least counteracting ability over here through our most counteracting ability here and following all the way along. And I'll explain that in a little bit more detail in our next chart. But we're going to have a look at first off some do's and some don'ts when it comes to the high lifts and I'll explain why. They are, as I said, lifting and depositing all in the one step. What they're depositing is cool tone to counteract underlying pigment so you end up with a more counteracted and neutralised result on the other end of your lightning process. They have higher actives to be able to do this um, to maximize their lift and counteracting ability. So it's really important that you know that and that will become clear as we get into some of our don'ts. So they, the actives in these colors are definitely higher. They're designed for use on natural base levels from a six and upwards. And this is because of the base that they are counteracting. So they're counteracting underlying warmth which is that red orange from a six level and upwards. So that's they're specifically designed to be able to counteract this in the underlying warmth as we move up through the underlying pigment from a natural level six. We can use them for multi-dimensional natural blonde results um, and they're absolutely beautiful for this. So we can utilize them in conjunction with uh, our foil work, so we could do like a, an ultra lift blonde and a high lift and a multi-dimensional blonde effect and they're absolutely beautiful to do that with them. Um, we can add concentrate to them. We can add the concentrate that I would choose to add to a high lift would be my slate grey or I would use my violet and I would tend to only use a very small amount um, but I can definitely add some additional concentrate if I want to. Um, and I also, something that is absolutely stunning to do uh, and a definite do with the high lifts is face framing. Uh, a face framing where you don't want it to be quite so stark, um, you don't want as much contrast. Uh, the high lifts are absolutely your go-to for that kind of work. So for example, on this natural level 6.1 here, I chose to use a, uh, an 11 series mixed with some fashion shades. So I used a mix of my half of my 1121. I used three grams of my uh, 753. I used three grams of my uh, 635, uh, 632, and I used four grams of my 635, and I mixed that in a one to two mixing ratio with 20 ball, and I just achieved a beautiful, subtle face framing, uh, which just gives me that really beautiful play on whiteness around the hairline, but without uh, going into a powder lightener and then depositing backwards. So um, I often will do that myself. I have some face framing using a high lift with some fashion shade, and it just is a beautiful way to give me some contrast but without being too much of a you know, variation between the levels, the natural level and the uh, artificial color level. So amazing for face framing. Now, what we don't use them for, 
We don't ever use the swatches in the chart to show the client an end result color. The swatches in the chart are showing you how much counteracting ability they have. They are not end result colors. So you're actually doing yourself a disservice by taking them out or showing them to the client because they're expecting that as an end result. That is not an end result color. If you're wanting to show the client an end result color that they can expect uh, because our clients are visual and they want to have a look at a type of result that they're going to achieve with a high lift when you're just using them on their own, then the swatches I would recommend would be for your 11 series, I would recommend that you use your 973 swatch. And if you're using your 15 series, you can show your client your 90 swatch. They are definite end result swatches, not the ones in the color chart that are representing the 11 and 15 series. As I said, I, I just wanna make this really clear, those swatches are showing the amount of counteracting ability, not end result, they are not end result swatches. Something else that I really wanna make sure that we've got clarified is that the 15 series and 11 series are not, underline capital letters, not toners. Now, the reason why we absolutely don't ever use these as toners is because of this, the higher actives in the color, okay? Yes, they have got counteracting ability in there. Yes, if you put them on, you know, you, you'll go, oh my God, wow, that was, that was amazing. But what we're doing is we're actually creating a headache for ourselves long term because these higher actives are working at opening the cuticle more so. So we're causing porosity to the hair and particularly when hair has already been pre-lightened, we're already dealing with a level of porosity, which is why it's absolutely capital letters underlined, not a high lift as a toner because you're increasing the porosity. So while you may get your toning result on the day, you're going to cause a long-term porosity issue for the client and that, that toner will not last. So absolutely for many reasons, but particularly the integrity and condition of the hair, we're not using the high lifts as toners, absolutely not. We also don't use them for grey coverage. They don't deposit natural and they do not give coverage. What they're depositing is counteracting ability. So they're not to be used for grey coverage. They will not give grey coverage. They're not designed to give grey coverage. And if we're using them in situations where we have got some grey that we need to deal with, then we need to actually perhaps mix two different formulas and deal with the coverage of the gray and deposit with 20 volt on that coverage with a natural, as we know, just come back to our fundamental laws of color, deposit 20 volt natural, and I go in with that. So I might use a 9O on my hairline where I've got more gray, and then I might use my high lift through the rest of the hair in my situation where I've got my um, more more of the natural. So I might use my you know 15 series and 40 volt to give me the, the lift in the rest of the head, but I definitely where I've got gray, I need to use something that's gonna give me that deposit on the gray hair. We don't use our high lifts with any developer less than 30 volt. And the reason that we don't do this is because these, because they are supercharged, they need the oxygen, that extra oxygen in the 30 volt or the 40 volt to give us that absolute lift so we achieve our maximum result. We're not using them with anything less because they're not designed to do a job of just depositing. They're all about lifting and depositing all in one step. So they need the extra oxygen in the 30 volt or 40 volt to do that. Really big thing with the high lift is don't over promise. It's not a bleach end result. If someone wants the cleanest, lightest, brightest result in a blonde, then obviously a high lift is not going to take place of our powder liner. The ultra lift bleach is an ultra lift. It's gonna give us that maximum lift. 
So what I, what I explain with the high lift is the result we can expect is a tinted blonde result, which is a warmer blonde result. And for some people, that's exactly what they need. They don't need that bleached blonde result. They don't need, you know, barbie blonde hair. They want, and their skin tone is more suited to that more tinted, warmer blonde, still controlled, but a warmer blonde result. Um, so we don't want to ever over promise them and as I said before using our 9 level swatch or on our 90 swatch or our 973 swatch is a really good indication to absolutely guarantee we're not going to over promise to the client the end result they're going to get out of them. The other thing we definitely don't do with our highlights is either our 11 or 15 series is we do not add our triple zero lift intensifier to the range. And the reason that we don't do this is because they already have higher actives themselves. Triple zero is also at a higher level of activity as far as the colors in the range go. And so what we don't want to do is we do not want to add something that's going to, you know, give them um, more of the actives. But the real reason we don't want to add lift intensifier to the high lifts is because lift intensifier has no counteracting ability so we will absolutely compromise on our counteracting ability and our end result with them. So to make it easier, let's have a look at uh, exactly sort of which of the 11 series sit where in relation to their counteracting ability and so therefore which choices we should make. So if we look at our natural levels, we've got our six, our seven, our eight, and our nine level. Our underlying pigment is red orange, up to orange, orange yellow, and yellow. With our underlying and counteracting, uh, we need to match them up. So we've got our counteracting ability down here for the counteracts red, which is our match, our green base. We've got from in our orange level, we've got our ash. And then of course we move up to violet to counteract in these higher levels. So if we look at, and this you can look at this on the color wheel as well, so you can see exactly where the highlights sit in relation to their counteracting ability. We have our 11 series sitting in with counteracting ability in ash, up to ash violet, and then we have just violet up here with our 1100. Then we've got our 15 series, and they're sitting down here based on our 1115, our 1511, sorry, has got the most amount of counteracting ability, and that's got that's us just sitting virtually on our, our green ash. So this is where we need to make sure we're just we're using it on the correct base. And then we've got our 1517 which is sitting in violet. Now the reason that that's sitting in violet but we still use it on our six level is this is all about achieving a beige blonde result which is that warmer blonde result but we still want to counteract some of the underlying warmth so we don't end up with just underlying warmth. So we still use this on our six level so we definitely use it only on our six level and where we've got our counteracting ability that we want controlled to a degree, so we want a beige result, but with our 1511, we want to get most amount of counteracting ability out of that, which is why we've got the most amount of counteracting ability that we're working with. With our 11 series, we need to make sure we're giving them the oxygen that they need, so we're working with them in our one to two mixing ratio. So for our 11 series, we're mixing it up, we're choosing our, our shade, we might have a level, a base level of A7, we are choosing what the most amount of counteracting ability, so I'm going to use my 1111, I'm going to mix that up in a 1 to 2 mixing ratio, and I can choose to use that with either my 9% 30 volt or my 12% 40 volt. Completely up to you as to the choice that you make, you can achieve a slightly different effect based on the level of developer that you use um, but you use that in a one to two mixing ratio and your processing time is 45 minutes if i've got my 15 series and i want to achieve a, a beige blonde from a level six i will mix up my 15 17 and i will mix that up maybe 20 grams of 15 17 with 40 grams of my 12% 40 volt. I only use 40 volt with my 15 series because I absolutely need all the oxygen 
in my 40 volt to give me that maximum amount of lift and counteracting ability, that lift and deposit out of it. And my processing time is 60 minutes. So I'm really wanting the absolute maximum. What's happening here is my, my 15 and my 11 series of lifting and toning and lifting and toning and lifting and toning all the way through the processing time. So it's really important that for maximum lift and counteracting ability, I use maximum processing time. So we don't compromise on the processing time. We don't cut back on it. We leave them on for their maximum processing times. Options, let's look at some options with the high lift so you can really get the most out of them. As I said before, absolutely amazing as multi-dimensional blondes. Um, using them and alternating your foil work with your ultra lift bleach for bespoke blonde results. You might choose to do a foil of your ultra lift bleach clay and uh, 3% and you might choose to do a uh, 15 17 as a beige blonde to alternate and that gives you that beautiful uh, you might use that with your obviously your 40 volt in a one to two mixing ratio and that gives you that really amazing kind of multi-dimensional effect and bespoke color work to your blondes rather than just going flat out with um with a, you know bleach and clay for every client um, really beautiful for you know really creating those personalized results for your clients um, you can also something which is really amazing and we'll look at this in more detail but you can absolutely use your 11 series to uh, mix in with fashion shades what you can do here is you can do things like your um, 15 17 with 10 grams 15 17 10 grams of your five points uh, 65 and 40 grams still mixing in a one to two mixing ratio so we're always using half of our high lift and half of our fashion shade um, and mixing that in with a one to two mixing ratio with 40 volt what i'm doing here is i'm creating an anchor for a for pastel toning so i'm developing i'm lifting and i'm getting some counteracting ability but what i'm also doing is I'm getting that um, beautiful kind of pink tone coming through as well. Uh, again, this is something that I, I often have in my hair. And then it gives me an anchor if I want to use a pastel toner through the hair for that to anchor on to. So really, really beautiful way to use the high end series. Also, a great way to pre-lighten for a vivid tone that's, that's on a deeper level or where you don't need it as clean a base as possible. Uh, I can choose to use my um, up to, uh, you know, five grams of my 5522 with 10 grams of my um, 1121 with 30 grams of my 9% 30 volt. And this can be a great anchor for pre-lightening for a vivid tone. So if I would use this if I wanted, say, perhaps a deep purple, uh, where I want to, I want to actually get some development of that violet pigment in the hair for my deep purple to go over the top of. So I don't necessarily have to uh, use my powder lightener all the time when it comes to pre-lightening for vivid work either. So again, it's just a really good way to kind of expand your thinking about high lifts and how you might choose to use them. Um, if there is grey, uh, use the high lift in specific dark areas and then deposit um, the shade. So, so as I said before, two formulas, one for depositing and coverage of grey, one for lifting and getting the, the lift and tone um, through the rest of the hair. Some frequently asked questions when it comes to the high lifts. Can I use them on levels darker than a level six? Well, absolutely. Um, people will use them on levels darker than a level six. Is it gonna give you the, the, the absolute, what they're designed to do, which is that lift and tone without the counteracting that's appropriate from a level six? No, but if I want a, if I use them on a level four, knowing that I've got counteracting ability for, that's gonna, is appropriate for a level six, I'm gonna have a warmer result, yes, definitely. I haven't got the correct, correct counteracting ability for that level four, but I will get a, a warmer result that is still controlled to a degree. So understanding what they are is really the key to answering that question and will it give me 
exactly what I'm looking for, you will definitely get a warmer result. Um, but if you want a soft kind of, you know, warm caramel face frame on a level four, then it might be a really nice option for you. So, um, but just make sure that you understand exactly what, where they're based and what result you're gonna get out of them. Um, can I take them through colored ends? Again, I go back to that the high lifts are higher in their actives and we don't take them through colored hair because of their counteracting ability that they're based on, as well as being higher actives, we don't want to take them through mid lengths and ends that are previously colored. If I've got a client that has a high lift on an ongoing basis, I use my high lift on their regrowth area. And then if I need to do any toning, I do that sort of through the mid lengths and ends by color balancing. And I might use a, you know, a beautiful 9-2 hybrid lotion, just to give me that really beautiful kind of soft tone through the mid lengths and ends. Taking a high lift through at a nine level is not appropriate. So again, it's just about knowing that there's higher actives plus there's too much counteracting ability. Application to the hairline. Why do we apply to the hairline lastly? Well, we apply to the hairline last because the hairline is finer and usually lighter. So we stagger the application of a high lift if you're taking it all the way through the hair from, um, from the, the front hairline through to the back hairline. We take it through, we go about a centimeter back from the front hairline, take it through, leave it on for 30 minutes and then go back to the hairline and apply it at the hairline where the hair is finer and usually lighter at the hairline as well. So that way we don't end up with a a hairline that's overtoned, it all kind of balances out um, through the processing time. So I hope that gives you a lot more clarity around these amazing high lift series, the 15 series and the 11 series, and how you can use them, but also how not to use them as well, because I think that's also really important to have that clarity around. Don't forget that on the new colour charts, they are in order of their counteracting ability. So that gives you a great guide as to how much counteracting ability you've got out of them and which one might be best chosen for the base level that you're working with. But use them, create with them, explore them. They're an amazing addition to the colour range and will expand your creativity to unlimited potential. Happy colouring.